Hi friends, Juan the Yarn Addict here bringing you yet another stitch tutorial. The stitch that you see before you today is called the rack stitch. This stitch here works up in multiples of seven, plus two, plus one. Okay, the reason for that is is because I decided to include a base row here of single crochets just so that the rack stitch had something to work off of. Um, it's super easy, super fast, it's lacy, which is nice, and it is a three row repeat, my friends, um, which includes columns of double crochets and then these three sets of stitches here. Again, I mean, I can't stress it enough how easy this is. Um, the yarn that I used here is a medium four weight yarn. This is Mainstay's anti-pilling yarn in the colorway Mint. And the recommended hook size for this particular yarn that I used was six and a half millimeters. Um, just use the recommended hook size for the yarn of your choice, okay? So without further ado, my friends, let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. Okay, friends, so I decided to go with four weight yarn here, but the hook recommended size for this was a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. I'm gonna go ahead and use a six millimeter crochet hook, otherwise known as US letter J. Okay, and so to start, what we're gonna to need to do is create a slip knot. So however you do this is absolutely fine, so long as the end result is this, okay? And from here, you wanna make sure that you're chaining multiples of seven. So for the purposes of this tutorial, my friends, I'm just gonna go ahead and chain 21. And I will pause and meet you guys back here when I have my multiple of seven, okay? So just give me one second and I'll be right back. Okay, friends, so I have 21 chains here, which is a multiple of seven. And then as I mentioned earlier, it's going to be plus two and then plus one, okay? And so from here, what we need to do is a row of single crochets, okay? So starting from the second chain from the hook, you're gonna go ahead and do a single crochet and you're gonna continue doing this all the way down your chain, okay? So I'm gonna continue doing this um, off camera and I will meet you at the end of this row here. Again, my friends, it is a row of single crochets, okay? Okay, friends, so I just finished my row of single crochets for this uh, row here, okay? So this here, my friends, is not part of our three row repeat. So from here, what we need to do is chain two, and the chain twos, my friends, are not part of anything. It literally helps us get to the next row. So after we chain two, we're gonna turn our work, and we're gonna work in these first two stitches here. So we're gonna put double crochets in each one of those stitches. So the first stitch gets a double crochet, and then the second stitch gets a double crochet as well, okay? So from here, what we need to do is skip two stitches, and then in this third one here, we're going to do three double crochets. So one, two, and three, just like that. Then from here, we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna go back into that same stitch here with three more double crochets. One, two, and three. So after that, my friends, we're going to skip these two stitches here, and in this third one here, we're going to do a double crochet, and a double crochet in the next stitch as well, okay? We're going to skip two stitches, and in the third one, we're going to do three double crochets, and that's the pattern repeat here for this row. So three double crochets in this stitch, chain one, and then three double crochets in that same stitch again. Okay, we're going to skip two stitches, and then in this third one here, we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet and then a double crochet in the next stitch. We're going to skip two 
And in this third one here, we're going to do three double crochets. One, two, and three. We're going to chain one and then go back into that stitch with three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, we're going to skip two. And then in these last two stitches here, we're going to do double crochets in each one. So double crochet here. And then in this last stitch, you may have to just turn it a little bit so you can see the V. See that V? That's going to get a double crochet. Okay, and so from here, we're gonna chain two. It does not count as anything. We're gonna turn our work. And now we're gonna start row two of our three row repeat. Okay, so this is what we're looking like right now. We have four sets of pillars. I call these the pillars here because they're going to run up like columns. So one, two, three, and four for me. Uh, I would imagine if you're making yours longer, you'll have more than this. But, and then we have three sets of these shell or fan situations happening here. Okay, so that's row one. Now we're going to move on to row two. So for row two, we're going to do two double crochets, one here and one here. So let's go back into this stitch we just came out of, do a double crochet, and then a double crochet next door here. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to go into this stitch right here. So we're going to skip these two from the previous row. We're always going to skip the first two. We're going to go into this third one and do a double crochet chain one. Then we're going to go into the chain space from the previous row here, and we're going to go in and do a double crochet, chain one. We're going to go back into the chain space with a double crochet and chain one. And then now we're going to go ahead and go into this first stitch from the previous row with a double crochet. And that is what we're looking for here. So literally four stitches, but chains in between each of those stitches. So double crochet, chain, double crochet, chain, double crochet, chain, double crochet. And these two in the middle here are coming out of the chain space. And the outside ones are coming in from the last stitches and the first stitches respectively. So from these shells or these groupings of uh, double crochets, the last and the first is where those stitches are coming out of. Okay? So let's go ahead and jump to our double crochets here. So our pillar stitches here. So from the this here, we're going to jump right down into this stitch right here and give that a double crochet. We're also going to go next door and do a double crochet there as well. Okay? And we're going to repeat what we just did over here. So from these two stitches, we're going to go right into this third stitch. So skip, skip, go into the third one with a double crochet. And then we're going to chain one. And then we're going to go into the chain space with a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, so after that, we're going to chain one. And then we're going to go into this very first stitch here with a double crochet. And that's what that looks like. Okay. So after that, we're going to come down here to our pillars. We're going to do double crochets in each one of those. And then we're going to go ahead and do double crochet in this stitch right here. So skip, skip. And in the third one, we're going to chain one. We're going to go into the chain space with a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. And then we're going to go into this first stitch here, this right here, with a double crochet. And that's what that looks like. Okay, so after that, we're going to go and do double crochets here. And I would imagine if your project is bigger than this, that you would keep continue going with this row. 
But this here, my friends, is two of the three rows of the repeat here. Super nice. Okay. So from here, as we did with the previous rows, we're going to chain two, just like this, and we're going to turn our work. And so like the previous rows, we're going to go ahead and do two double crochets in these two stitches here. So double crochet here and a double crochet next door. Okay. And so for this third uh, row repeat here, we're going to go directly um, into this chain space. We're going to do two double crochets and we're going to chain three. And then we're going to go back into the chain space and do two double crochets, one and two, just like that. Okay. After we're done our stitches here, we're going to go back down to the pillar, which is right here. And you'll see them stacked on top of one another. You're going to go down into that very first stitch and do a double crochet, one and two. Okay, so from a distance, let me pull that away. You're starting to see a pattern there. Okay, so in the beginning, two stitches, and at the end, two stitches every row. And then in between our clusters of stitches, we do pillars. Okay, so let's continue on with this third row repeat situation. So after we do our pillar stitches there, we're going to go into the chain space here with two double crochets, one and two. We're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And then we're going to go back into that chain space with two double crochets, one and two, just like that. We're going to do the two pillar stitches, double crochet there, and a double crochet there next door. Okay, so we're going to jump into our third set of uh, st stitches here. We're going to go right into that chain space with two double crochets. We're going to chain three and go back into that chain space with two more double crochets. Just like that. And then we're going to hop into these last two stitches here. Do double crochets. So there you have it, my friends. That is the three row repeat. So just to recap, in case you want to take notes and write it down. So for the first row here, it's going to be three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets. For row two, it's going to be double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and then double crochet. So it's four double crochets with chains in between. Okay. You're going to go into the last stitch of the cluster. You're going to go into the chain space and then go into the first stitch of the cluster. And then for the third row repeat here, you're going to go into the chain space with two double crochets, chain three, and two double crochets. Okay? So I'm going to work several more rows and I will meet you back in just a second. Hi friends. So I am back. I did several rows um, and so here we are. I just thought to myself that um, I would show you guys how to close off. So once you've achieved the length um, that you're looking for, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and make the top flat. So well, the recommended way to make it flat. So once you've finished your rows and you decided you're not going any further, okay, what you want to do is you want to chain two, turn your work, and do the double crochets in the first two stitches. So double crochet, double crochet in the next one, okay? From here, what you want to do is you want to chain two, and then go into your chain space with a single crochet, chain two, and then go into your pillar stitches there with double crochets, and that's literally the repeat. 
to close off. So two double crochets, chain two, go into your chain space here with a single crochet, chain two, go into your pillar stitches here with one double crochet a piece, chain two, single crochet, chain two, and then double crochets at the end of your row, however long that is. So once you lay that down, it's perfectly flat, just like that. Love it. Okay. So again, you can go as long as you'd like, as wide as you want, as long as you're using the stitch multiple of seven plus two plus one. And let's bring back the original swatch. As you can see, I myself plan to continue on. This is going to be for someone. And so, yeah, it's gorgeous. You can, I mean, again, you can make a throw with this. You can make a triangle scarf, whatever you want. It's super nice. Anyway, my friends, that wraps up this stitch tutorial. If you enjoyed what you saw, please go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And then of course, hit that notification bell to stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel. So for now, my friends, that's all I have. Have a good one. Bye-bye.